Hi everyone, just wanted to give you a quick tutorial on how to use Google Hangouts or Google Meets. Uh, first thing you'll want to do is either go to meet.google.com or uh, the alternative is to go to hangouts.google.com. They're basically exactly the same thing. I know the screens look slightly different, uh, but in the end, it doesn't matter which one you go to. Um, I prefer the meet.google.com, but the process is going to be the same. If you're on the meet.google.com, uh, you'll just click on join or start a meeting, whereas with the Hangouts, you'll click on the video call to start a new one. Uh, you can enter a meeting code or nickname for your meeting. So I'm just going to call this ND Hangouts. Click continue. Uh, this is kind of important because if students are trying to access your Google Hangout or Google Meet, when they go to the hangouts.google.com or meet.google.com, when they click on join or start a meeting, as long as they type this in, they will join the exact same meeting that you're in. Or uh, the alternative is to send in the link that I'll show you in a second. So you're going to click continue. <clears throat> Okay, I might ask you to allow access to your microphone or whatever else. Just make sure you click allow. Uh, so we're not actually in the uh, Google Hangout or Meets yet. Um, we To do that, we have to click join now. So now you can see that we're in. Uh, this link right here is what you can send to your students so they can click on that link to just automatically go into that Google Hangout or Google Meets. Or like I said, they can go to that meet.google.com, type in that uh, ND Hangouts or whatever other code you shared with them, uh, something you can have that's specific to your class or to you, and they can join that way. The other option as well is if they wanna dial in and just listen in on their by their phone, they can call that number and use that PIN number to access that Google Meets. And then you can also invite people to that Google Hangout or Meets um, by clicking on the Add People section. So uh, you can just close this because this is information you don't really need except for maybe that link if you want to share that with your students. Okay. Once you're in, uh, you have a few choices. Now I don't have a camera hooked up so I can't turn on the camera right now. Um, my microphone is off uh, so I could turn that on right now if I wanted to. Um, the other thing is up in the top right hand corner I can see which other people have joined the group. Uh, the one I find important is the chat because if the uh, students don't want to use a microphone or if you have 20 students all in there at once of course you don't want them all having your microphones on they can use that chat feature to ask any questions. Okay, and then you can even see as you're going through a lesson or helping somebody out, you can go back and take a look at those questions that were there and answer any of the questions that were there. Um, to get out of that window, you just click on the main screen anywhere. Same thing if you want that bottom toolbar to disappear or if it does disappear, you just click on the screen to make it come up again or if you click on it, usually that'll go away as well. If you want to present something that's on your screen so that the students can see it, whether it be a Google Slides or a document or something like that, you can click on present now. Uh, choose if you want to present your entire screen or a window or whatever it is. Uh, so we're going to share this one. I have a dual screen. That's why there's two of them coming up. I'm going to click share. And then students are looking at whatever's on my desktop computer right now. And as I go through that, they would be able to see that as well. Um, you can also see in there uh, that because I'm sharing that now, it actually has my name show up twice. Um, some other options, if you click on the three dots in the bottom right hand corner, you have some other options that you can access in there. Uh, there is a settings option. So uh, if I had a microphone attached or my microphone in here, I can click on that and I can choose a microphone. Uh, same thing with a speaker or a uh, nice thing is with the video. So if you have a document camera hooked up or some other webcam that you want to use instead of the cam on your camera on your computer. So if you want to go through an assignment or something, you can actually choose the camera from here, whether that be a document camera or another camera that you want to be used for this Google presentation uh, or hangout. And then on the bottom of your screen here, you would make sure that that camera is on so that students can see whatever that camera is pointing at. And that's pretty much the gist of Google Hangouts or Google Meets. Um, 
when you're done your Google Meet, just to hang up, you can either close the tab or close the window or uh, click on the phone kind of icon at the bottom here to leave the call. And that would be about it.